We have finished Game On Expo in Phoenix. I'm with my bestest buddies, JRPG Life, and we are going to Retro Exchange. But guys, check this out. This is the stuff I literally got at the convention. I'm taking this. TSA may have some questions, man. Uh, yeah, a bunch of PS1 games that are rare, and then this, it's completely full. But we don't have enough. More, more games. games. Let's do it. You know I'm drawn straight to the Jeffrey. That is, that is a piece I'd love to have in the store at one point, or at some point. Look at that. Dude, that is freaking amazing. All right, right off the bat, you get a bunch of Motu stuff in here. You may have never seen these. These are like a crossover of wrestling and Motu. You guys know that is the thing that I like. I love those crossovers. That's no action figure. That's WWE superstar Randy Orton. Where'd you get him? Kmart, isn't he so cute? All right, right off the bat, my, my buddies over here are looking at some games. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. Let's see. So yeah, they they were actually the store actually had a um, a booth mm -hmm. at the con. So they're kind of putting everything back now, getting everything in order. I already see one game that I need for my NES set. You're gonna laugh. Is it Taboo the Six Sense? Nope. nope. It's Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Oh, right there. Which how funny is that? It's like a I know I'm pretty sure it's like a 12 or under game. It's not expensive at all, but sweet. Down to 37 now. That's great. The quality of the controls varies from level to level, though overall they're pretty solid, and the visuals and music are top notch. I grabbed that one. That would that's gonna surprise most people that I don't have that game. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. That's how this, we are with like This pickup guys. makes no sense, I will say that. Yeah. You care if I grab this? Do you need to grab anything out of here? Uh the Disney. Disney game? Yeah, right. The purple one? Yeah, I thought it was that. $12.99. Yeah. There it is. Very weird that I don't have this yet. Actually, great game. Have you played this one? Uh-uh. It's really, really, really good game. I've seen it many times. But, uh, yeah, let me get that one. Yeah, you see it many times, mm -hmm. which, again, why do I need it? But I just never found it. Need is a Can strong I, word. Need, right? Can I grab this one as well? Oh, means. This one's good. Oh, no, I'm buying more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have room. Gotcha. Oh, look at this, guys. Much yeah. bigger audience. To look see at this there. box. That's like my favorite thing. This box of goodies in here, man. Unpack the good stuff. Ooh, what's that one? What is that? That one right into in three. Ooh, that looks like that's right up here. All Yells Alley too. Uh, not really into fighting games, but it's okay. cool. These were all, were these all at the convention? Yep. Okay, sweet. Okay, always love these old Toy Story figures. These are the original, if I get it off, this is the original. I think, I'm fairly certain the original ones are always Thinkway, right there. The colors, all of it. It's hard to believe that this came out in two or in 1995. That means this movie is almost 30 freaking years old, which is absolutely wild. You got the Woody over here. Here is Buzz. And these are like hefty. These are not light, cheap toys. These are awesome. At one point, or at some point, I'd love to have a ton of these. Uh, and I'm really looking, I've been on the hunt forever for a complete in-box Woody doll. That's the, the the original ones from Thinkway. So if you have one of those, reach out to me. I'd be interested. Buzz Lightyear and Woody figures are each sold separately. Batteries are included from Thinkway. Okay, I'm here with the owner. Remind me the name again. Yeah, gray, I like the color. Gray. All yes. right, I'm here with Gray, the owner, and he he has something a little unique over here. Where, so talk to me about this. What is yeah, this? Yeah, so uh, several times a year, I go down to uh, Puerto Penasco or Rocky Point, Mexico. Okay. And there's artisans and stuff down there that make all this incredible handmade art with pop culture themes, like horror stuff, Mario stuff, Disney stuff. And it's a lot of it's really cool. Yeah. They have a process where they actually take the fish bones left over from seafood processing and melt <laughs> it into a resin. That is wild. Yeah, it's bizarre, right? Uh, masks and statues, they really love it. Alien and Predator, and they Ooh, love Pennywise yeah. and Chucky. So okay. I bring back tons. I don't have a ton of it right now. I haven't been in a, about a month and a half, but okay. uh, we're due for a trip, and I bring back all kinds of neat stuff. It all sells very well. People yeah. love it. It's super unique. You got some here. I do have a little bit here, yeah. Okay. Like, they make these masks. There's, like, a Pennywise, and that's... 
Made out of fish bones. That's Melted fish, down into a bone. resin. Yeah, that's, a, that's a new one on me, man. Yeah, I've universal never... Frankenstein. Some of them are just wall hangers like the werewolf oh up there. Oh my gosh, that's so dope. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. How cool is that? It's intense. Isn't that it awesome? Is. It got yeah. treads and everything, man. And, Fish bones, go Fish figure. Bones. It, uh, on it, honestly, Made by too. Hand. They're so well priced, bro. Like twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, well, That's the artist great. is down there. You know, I put a small markup because yeah, of my gas of and my time and everything. I'm not sure if I have shown these yet, but these are the newer like Mad Balls. So a company, they've actually reached out to us about um, putting these in the store. They're really cool. So you have all these Mad Balls um, figures, and they are like a very hefty uh, toy. These uh, Mad Balls was like really big in the 80s. Um, so those are awesome. There's a whole bunch of different you know, different characters. And then these Barnyards, Barnyard Commandos. Who freaking remembers Barnyard Commandos, the show? If it's a code, then there must be some kind of pattern. Uh, do you have any ideas, Captain Lar? Mm -mm. Not at the moment, Corporal. So same exact thing with this. The, they are like super well made. They're actually, I think, bigger than the original figures that you see. Um, I've got a couple of the original figures carded, but these are so nice. Now they are a premium just because, I mean, because they're so nice, but man, if you are a fan of like 80s, 90s nostalgia, these are awesome. And it's cool to see these make a comeback. So they're also dabbling in all the tabletop stuff. They got games over here, Warhammer. Ooh, I see some VHS. Look at that Bowser. My son would go nuts for that. Oh my gosh. He's amazing. All right, let's see what let's see what VHS we have over here. Good old Jurassic Park Total Recall. We actually went to a uh, record store earlier and they had a bunch of laser discs. And Dan was getting all the Dan was getting all the Arnold Schwarzenegger V uh, laser discs. But well, lots of men in black. Lots of men in black. I'm always looking for those either cartoony ones. A lot of the uh, band ones do well for me in the store too. This is pretty rad. I like how they have all the different sections of the store all split up. Like this is the card area. Looks like they're working on some cards over there. A deal, but all over here. It's a bunch of cards. Got some Gen 1 base set, bunch of Full arts as well. I got all the cards back there. But yeah, you're over there. There's the tabletop, tabletop area. Get the cards over here. A bunch of the toys over there. I like that. This is like the third store in a row we have been to where I'm seeing these huge glass display cases, cabinets. And I have went back and forth on rearranging the store, um, our store back in Arkansas. And I I think I'm gonna do it, man. I just think this looks so good. If I rearrange some of our glass cabinets, um, I can actually put these up on the wall. We've never done anything like that at the store, but I definitely, definitely think that's the way to go, especially for figures and stuff like that. It's so hard to display ours right now because our our cabinet is so low to the ground and there's just like, you have all this wall space. I think this is definitely the route we're gonna take. That looks so good, so clean. All right, you guys getting something? We're getting two things. Okay. That a long it? box PS1 game and a What shirt. game is it? Uh, yeah. Alien Trilogy for PS1. Oh, that's a good one. We're casually going long box on PS1, and uh, that's one we didn't have. It's a good price. 50 and bucks. what's the other item? Uh, it is a Monkey D. Luffy t-shirt. Uh, one piece. Don't know. What okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One piece anime. Okay. Awesome. It's they cool. actually they actually have a Ghostbusters, the video game shirt over there for like, is it six or seven bucks? Six ninety nine. I mean that's, I, I, my suitcase is so packed right now. But I thought about getting that. Stop it. Get some help. All GI Joe stuff through here. All GI Joe. This is something we have nothing of. I have no GI Joe in the in the shop. Yeah. Do people ask for it? Oh yeah. People do. I just. Uh -huh. It hasn't came in yet, and I am completely uneducated on GI Joe. ET stuff. ET stuff? No. Where? Big old ET in the back. Oh uh, yeah, I actually have that one in the shop. Awesome. I have that one up on top of one of our cases. I love that guy. We even got a little TMNT section over here. Got some original figs right there. Look, they got the they got the toppers. Love the extra detail, and then all of the somewhat newer toys. These are sick as well so they got a little bit of everything here man 
bunch of Motu stuff as well. Pops, of course. So come check out this place, man. It's pretty rad. That was a major success. Probably more for you than me. You got you a really, really good deal Dude, on that. Sealed for a hundred bucks. Sealed for a hundred bucks. That's, that's, that's awesome, man. But me, probably the most unexpected uh, pickup that I'm excited about. A really cheap NES game down to 37. So it's a good day at Retro Exchange.